You are listening to the Old School Movement Podcast with Daz, Chris and Steve. You understand. Yes, Old School Movements, we're back with another episode. I always say that, don't I? Let me change it. <laughs> <laughs> old School Movements is in the house. We're here again. Yeah, and it's, it's a, we're here for the robots again. The robots are oh, back. Robots. Yeah. Um, last last time in part one, we were talking about the cyborgs in movies and, and, and so on. And today's episode was about TV robots. We're going to start with TV robots, and then we'll go into a couple of movie ones from the eighties. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. You guys cool? Yeah, TV yeah, man. Yeah, we're good. Good, good, man. Cool, cool, cool. As you know, we got we got Chris in the house and Stax. And um, I'm Mr. Lucas, and yeah, today's episode is TV robots. So, guys, uh, it's like, you know, there's so many cyborgs that we didn't mention. Um, there's loads like, still to go. Loads, there's loads to go in there. But um, loads. Like that as woman, we always do. In the, super, in the Superman film, who was that woman? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it, who was that? Was that his sister? That was the character's sister, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. What was that? Three? Was it three Superman or four? Three, and she got, she got, she got sucked in for some <laughs> wires. And she come out as some zombie robot. <laughs> you remember that, Stax? No, I don't. You know. The one with Richard Pryor in it. Richard Pryor one, yeah, you got oh, God. Richard Pryor one. It's not that one of the best, was, but it was good with him. So, it? That one was so bad. The best bit, I must have watched you know, it once. Is, is a bit when he fights himself. That's it. That's yeah. That's the, film. the good and watch, the bad. Watch one, Clark it? Kent fight Superman, and, and, and that's the film for you. <laughs> <laughs> but and yeah, that metal woman. bit. Yeah, that yeah, the cyborg woman. I remember, had a I remember her eyes went all funny, didn't they? Yeah. Didn't it, like go across her eyes. It used to freak me out a it little was, bit. And it looked like there was a jar of jam or something too mad to save at the end. <laughs> there was some. It, it was just bubbling out of the jar. Anyway, <laughs> crap film. <laughs> but yeah, let's start with some TV robots, man. So, you know, watching TV, you, you had all your 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 Flash Gordon. Black and white TV Flash series, Gordon, where black and white, black and white Superman, yeah. horse, black and white Superman, um, Zorro. You know, we had all those classic shows coming out with the Incredible Hulk. We had the Cat Spider Man. Robots hadn't said, really crept into that yet. Yeah. Though, uh, well, well no, apart yeah. from what we said last time, the Bionic Man. He was the only mm. robotic man. You know, mm. and he was the main <laughs> focus. But when this particular show we're going to talk about came on the scene, that was like. It was just after Star Wars, but you know, Star Wars had blown up on the scene, and they wanted to make TV after, shows yeah. on that on that vibe. Um, so, Battlestar Galactica came about. Love that and, program. Um, <laughs> eh? Love that program. Yeah, Battlestar Galactica, man. You know, the theme music, the characters, you know, the costumes. Chris liked the hats. <laughs> um, <laughs> space hats are good. Love, love the space hat. <laughs> but 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 with no visor. They're, I remember their hats. Helmets yeah, had no, no visor. visor. Yeah. Or did it have was one? It a... No, it didn't have one. Because it just opened, but there, it? There, there was a light around it. That yeah, must have been a, a light around it. or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It could have been. Yeah. It's like an Egyptian yeah. Hel- Egyptian hat. Yeah. Yeah. So they had those hats, but the robots in it. There weren't a lot of robots on the good side, um, but it was a hell of a lot on the bad side. So let's start mm. with the let's start with um hell of a lot of one type, the Cylons. Yeah, the Cylons. The Cylons, the Cylons were wicked, isn't it? They looked wicked, man, back in the day. The Cylons, man. Yeah, they 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 weren't like they weren't like the stormtroopers. Um, they had a bit more they sense. Had, yeah, they, yeah, they could shoot. They had a good aim. They could shoot. <laughs> yeah. and, they, and they were more. They looked more threatening than the stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah. It's that red light. You know what I mean? Front, it's that red light. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's that red light. It's that. It's that. It's that. Yeah, it's it was that, that in look. the voice, but that light. The, the eye was wicked and obviously in Knight Rider with Kit they got the idea of that that red light from the Cylons yeah, didn't they? Yeah, the same yeah. guy who directed all these or produced all these wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah. The, it Glenn, Glenn Larson or Glenn A. Larson yeah. Glenn A. Larson yeah. that's it yeah. yeah, yeah that so that was guy. a throwback to the <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah so it's, it's a throwback Kit's light was a throwback to the Cylons because well, that, that eye was wicked that, you know, that, oh mate and as you said they said the that they their voices were like so. It was the ultimate robot voice. It yeah. was just proper like that. Robot voice. It was a proper <laughs> robot. It's proper still scary. now. It's the best <laughs> yeah. robot voice. I love the. It's silence. the best robot yeah. voice ever. <laughs> um, but that, nah, yeah, those robots. Those robots were creepy, man. Um, and they and they were ruled by some funny-looking purple dude. 
weren't they? I don't remember him too much, man. He was like a cone, a cone shaped head dude or something. Yeah, some like. You know, like you know, like the toppers you get when you're little, and you push it down, and it spins and lights up. <laughs> yeah. Pretend it like one of them, or, or, or a lava lamp, a lava lamp with a cloak. That's what I'm thinking. A lava lamp, yeah. <laughs> like a, lava lamp. a lava lamp with a cloak, you know. Yeah, but no, the, yeah, the silence were deadly, and the, and their spaceships, you know, but it, that was always a thing. Like a good guy, a bad guy, always had to have a good spaceship, just like yeah. having. Start skin hearts, like riding the car, like in space. Yeah. It was like, yeah, the personalities, the spaceships got to go with the person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And um, the silent ships, good? yeah, there the, was... the silent ships and the, and the good. What, what were the good guys called in Battlestar Galactica? It beats me. The re, not the rebellion, no, I don't know. What the, the Galactica, just, Galactic, Galactica, Galactica, <laughs> Galactica. <Yeah. laughs> you know, but their it, ships were bad. I love their yeah. ships, man. Yeah, yeah, but no, the silent. They look a little bit like X wings. Sort of, yeah, like the they body did. of an X-wing without yeah. the X-wing wings, just yeah. with a little little ship, like little plane wings sort of thing. But yeah, they yeah. look bad. They look bad. Yeah, no, they look bad. Uh, what were the Cylons then? Were they like two, what you would like two flying saucers together? Was it them ones or was that no, their no, mother it, ship? It, it was like half a flying. It was like a shell. You know, like you find a seashell, but like a <laughs> ship. It's like. It was like a, it was like yeah, a oyster. patty. An oyster. Yeah, yeah, an oyster. <laughs> yeah, a patty, patty shaped oyster. Patty shaped oyster ships. <laughs> 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 but they still look big. I remember them. Patty yeah, shaped oyster ships. Them. But no, nah, no, nah, the, the, Cy- the Cylons are wicked. Nah, the Cylons it, are I think the Cylon is is a race of like lizard looking people and they created mm. Cylons, the, the robot things, um, mm. a, a, as a weapon of defense. But they ended up get, taking over and wiping out all the lizard Cylon. Okay. So they became the the superior race and they just wanted to conquer the the universe so what what so they were made by lizards and they made by these, lizards. yeah yeah and they conquered over the lizards which the lizards are called cylon so they made right. cylons and the yeah, cylons right. conquered the cylon lizards and became the master yeah. race who wanted to conquer the galaxy and, yeah, and all the lizards ended up fighting galacticans and all the lizards fleed and left them they got wiped out them. totally wiped out maybe some maybe some of them right got plastic surgery to look human, wore red military suits and went to Earth. Could be, man. Possibly. That could be the connection of V. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would make a good sideshow, wouldn't it? It just works. That really. could be the link. They should do something with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's the other the big thing with the yeah. Cylons was yeah. the, the throwback to, or the connection to the A-team as well. Oh, yes. Remember yes, in the credits, yes. I used to love in the credits at the beginning. Yeah, when, that he, bit. when he walked past face and and that and I know you. Yeah, and that nerd alert, uh, alert just went in your head as a kid. Like, in your head, yeah, I know, I know, I know, the, know, connection I know the connection yeah. there. I know yeah. the connection there. It yeah. happens again in the worst Beverly Hills Cop. There's a there's a there's a fairground scene and there's a ride that's got three Cylons like moving around. Like I don't think they look robotic. Like I don't think there's no one in them. They look like just mm-hmm. dummies on the ride. But again, right. it's like you see it and you think, man, how good the Cylons look. Man. Cylons look. Would you like to come wicked. on this funfair ride? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to jump on? Please get on. No one's on <laughs> it at the moment. <laughs> 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 no, no, the Cylons were big. The Cylons were big. But that's the bad guys from Battlestar Galactica. But, you know, there wasn't any that I remember any any good guy robots to fight the Cylons. But there was yeah. a particular robotic canine in a wicked little robotic Battle canine Star Galactica. character. And it, yeah. But it looked like a bear. It looked like a yeah. cuddly like little a, bear. Like a bear like a with a panda or something. Or... In armor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With and like that, them bendy that... pipe connections on its, yeah, <laughs> wherever its joints are. <laughs> and that dog, what was the name of that dog? Muffet? Was it Muffet? Muffet, yeah, yeah. It's it, it, it's 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 breed of dog or its breed of robot was a Daggett. So it was a Muffet the Daggett was the um was what the character was. And I I, th- I think I'm sure the kid either had a dog and it died, or somebody had a dog and it died, and they ended up having that one built for that little kid that was in in the. Uh, in the program, yeah. there was a kid yeah. character, and it was always on the space station place. Yeah. And he's always hugging dog, that robot dog. And the dog was always hugging him, head. playing with him. Yeah. It, it was like man's best friend, wasn't it, man? Yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah. I liked it because I thought that I thought, well, you know, one day we're all going to be living in space like that, and to know we've got robot dogs up there, like that's, you know, I felt mm. good as a kid knowing, oh, you know, they got they got little <laughs> friends up there, little man's best <laughs> friends are up there, little companions. 
<laughs> even though it's a robot dog, but it's even all though it's good. a robot, yeah, it's, yeah. it, 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 it looks as though it, you could play with it just as much, though, innit? It, it, the character yeah. in the in the thing was wicked, man. Yeah, but at least he doesn't have to pick up his shit around. That's, him. You know what? I was that's even about better. to say the same thing. Yeah, it, you could switch space, it off if he gets too much. You don't want floaters in space. That's just another level. <laughs> you, don't, floaters. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need to be seeing white dog shit in space. Yeah, when you're walking around dog space shit. Yeah, <laughs> walk around space and see dog shit just flying past the window. <laughs> but, um, Have you ever heard yeah. about who, who played the character of, of Muffet, the, the Daggett character? Who? who? No, w- 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 wasn't it just a small person or something inside? I thought that. I thought it must just be a little small person. It was actually a four-year-old chimpanzee called Evie. Well, her name was Evolution, <laughs> but they called it Evie for short. Serious? A what? four-year-old chimpanzee. Back nah. in them days, they put we a chimpanzee but, in but his costume. We had our, ner- our nerd alert on. How come we didn't know about that? Think about how it moved now. Think about how it sort yeah. of used to do yeah, that run you, down the corridor. Yeah, now it? you say that. It's like that, that, that monkey run. Yeah, that that monkey run, yeah. <laughs> that monkey it, run. The story Knuckles about first. It, it, it seems really <laughs> cruel, but I swear the story about it is amazing. If you've got time, Google it and, and check out this Evie um, chimpanzee and how she Man. played this character yeah. but that, that, that she messed up the set loads of times and i think there might even be some clips on youtube of her just causing havoc with, without the headpiece mm. on so she's got the right. rest of the suit oh, on okay. the chimpanzee head and just running around the whole set causing havoc yeah she looked like, looked like it could have been a good time really so how about, if i knew that back <laughs> a good then, time I don't know I, <laughs> she looks like she's having a good time yeah. <laughs> i hope so i hope so because that outfit must be plastic, then. It can't. It can't be oh, in a heavy it, metal, furry. Nah, it can't be. It looks metal, man. It looks metal, it, and it, it looks. It, it, it looks it, like it, how you're thinking it looks, mate. Yeah. Definitely. Which is cruel, but it seems yeah, you, cruel. You, you, but... you couldn't do that now. But monkeys were getting a lot of work yeah, then now. times. You had, you had Tarzan. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, had, you, had, you, had, you had bubbles running around with MJ. You had one going up to space. <laughs> you had one going up to space. You know what I mean? Typhoon ones, they were getting yeah, the PG tips. Yeah, PG PG tips. They, they, they had work in the 80s, man. <laughs> they had work in the 80s. Man. They're all unemployed now. Yeah, <laughs> seaside. They are all sitting in zoos now. They're all sitting yeah. in zoos looking pissed off. You used to yeah, see man. them randomly at the seaside. Do you remember you used to get the guys with the spider monkeys and on yeah. the pier, they'd put it on your yeah, shoulder and take yeah, a picture yeah, like, yeah. and charge you a yeah. fiver for it. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mad, isn't it? Our times have changed. Well, animal cruelty came in. Yeah, You can't be doing that now. You can't, you can't be making a chimpanzee be a robot dog isn't it? Robot for the purpose dog. of this TV film. Google it, man. You guys have got to wow. out there. You guys have got to read up about wow. this. So, yeah, so, but some the, of the but, pictures but, are amazing. But the head, the head used to move in that. What, what, that, that was that was control, control must at be. servos, yeah. and and so did the ears. I think it was only the eyes, yeah, head, the, and ears. And I think the blink, towel, didn't the towel, it? Used to yeah. blink. I think the towel used to spin or something with the towel. But everything else was the monkey controlling it under orders from the handler. But it, there's wow. there's little clips out there. There's there's some really good stuff to read about it. It's, it's amazing. Wow! I was shocked wow. when I read it. I, I was Evo expecting the monkey. What was, I was just one a little man? Yeah, just, little what, just just one monkey. Not 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 one multiple monkey. monkeys. One no, monkey just, was the same monkey throughout the whole just Evie. Yeah, series. Just the Evie. Of I think she's done other work as well. I'm sure there were some other films around the time that she was in as well. But yeah, just That's that crazy. one film for the. I think three years it ran for. I think if I'm right. 78, 79, it might be like four years, maybe. I don't know, but yeah, yeah. for all that time, that, that character, that dog character, wasn't wow. it? Wow, was never knew that was a chimp. That's a crazy. Chimp. It, was a a it was such a good character. It was such a good character. I loved Battlestar wow. Galactica for the dog, wow. one, of the, one of the main reasons. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. So that, yeah, that was Battlestar Galactica's robots, man. And the robot thing continues, we say, like. The, the, the sci-fi explosion was 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 kicking off. You had Space 1999. Remember Space 1999? Yeah. The late 70s. Yeah. yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. All that time. Yeah. Yeah. All, yeah. all these different programs get going off. Um, and then we had a program that wasn't one of those original black and white ones, and they put it into color. Mm. Um, and you know, this was a, a human. Wasn't he? A, wasn't he like a sports star? So I don't know what, what he was before he. Or was he an astronaut? He was an astronaut, wasn't he? Yeah, well, you think like, yeah, not like a Flash Gordon. Character. Yeah, it wasn't a Flash Gordon. Yeah, he was an astronaut, and he and he and he and he went for a time lapse, and he ended up in the twenty fifth century. That's the one. <laughs> he was an astronaut. <laughs> yeah. <a friend>. Um, <laughs> and that's Buck Rogers. That's Buck Rogers, oh, man. Twenty fifth century. In the twenty fifth <laughs> century, Chicago. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago, was, yeah, was it? I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, he was from Chicago. One of the two, yeah. yeah I think he's from. Oh, I always yeah. thought they were on a spaceship somewhere. They were always out. Yeah, like, that's what I thought. Always how, out. How yeah. Star Trek was. They was always out in, in another yeah. galaxy somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just getting on with it, mate. He had his little robot companion, didn't he? Was it his, he had his, his companion. companion or was it just yeah. someone? It was his companion, wasn't it? He's, he's right. hanging around with him. He's hanging yeah. around with him. Yeah, he's a man. Yeah. man. Of course, we're talking about little Tweaky. Tweaky, was his name? Tweaky, Tweety. Tweety, bitty, 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 bitty. Hey, bitty, 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 and he, Not Twinkie, he, like them weird <laughs> cake things. Yeah. In the US, they're odd. Not them. <laughs> Tweaky. And, yeah, and he just, he, I, I don't know why he went big, 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 big all the time. I don't know what hey, that was. That's about all he could say, wasn't it? Well, did he have a stutter? Was that, uh, is, was he, that <laughs> why he done that? <laughs> but why did he go big, 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 and then say something? <laughs> <laughs> or was he influenced by Daddy Freddy? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was on my fud. That's his circuits, oh. like, you know, yeah, he calculating what funny. he's going to say, isn't it? He's calculating, yeah. calculating, calculating, calculating. <laughs> <laughs> then he remembers, <laughs> Ribbit. Hey, Buck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. He may be calculating. <laughs> what are you going to say? Isn't it? It's all going through because it was the eighties. Computing. Computers yeah. made that noise in the eighties. They calculated shit. When you but, push but, the button, you heard. Me, 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 me. Yeah. And then the answer would come out. And that's how he spoke. <laughs> that's how he spoke. We're probably didn't didn't he there. talk normally though? I'm no, not normally, yeah, after, but didn't he uh, have a robot voice? Uh, he did. Didn't yeah. He? yeah no, after that, he went bidi bidi bidi, then he'll talk. He, he couldn't do nothing without weird, going biddy, biddy, biddy. <laughs> and then say something. Words. It only have a few words, though, because the thing that talked was his, was his flavor yeah, flavor yeah, yeah, emoji. Yeah, yeah. And that's deep because he was Buck Rogers' psychic, but he had psychic. It's like a Russian carrying, doll. It's yeah. like, they're, like uh, I've got psychic, no, I've got psychic. And he's <laughs> think, with me think, all the time. I think Flavor Flav <laughs> Clock Bloke was the boss, wasn't he? I thought he was the boss of Tweety. Yeah, I, I think he was actually. I think he took like he was the didn't... brains, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, Tweaky yeah. just carried yeah. him around. Sometimes it it take didn't him off. I used to like it when he took him off and put him, him on the side. Yeah, yeah but didn't the clock thing break, have right. the same voice as like Knight Rider? Didn't he sound like yes, Kit? I think it sounded like Kit. Yeah, it was one of them poshy sort of. Yeah, I'm sure he sounded like Kit. And what was his name? And um, Doctor the- Theolopoulos, the- the- Doctor Theolopoulos or something. His name was, and he was. The he name was made of the to sound clock. The name of that yeah. clock thing. Yeah, the name of Flavor Flav's clock emoji was Doctor Theolopoulos. Theolopoulos. Hey, Buck. But he he was like, yes, you're right, Michael. Like, I'm sure, yeah, that sort of... That yeah, sort of, it was that up. kind of... Yeah, it was that, it was that kit <laughs> voice, man. Kind but the two of them together, they were like the R2 and 3PO of the telly, weren't yeah. they, man? Having, yeah. having the little flavour flavour clock and tweaking. But, 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 but the thing is, I don't think a lot of people really reference the, the, the clock on his chest. The clock they just, part, see yeah, they just saw it yeah, as yeah. one... Yeah, yeah, because but Tweet no, is the one that's cool. walking. Tweet is the one that's, you yeah, know. Exactly. It's like, like Qua- the R2 unit. It's like Quato like from Turtle Recall. Yeah. He's got something <laughs> out on his chest. Yeah. Is it the dude that, um, dude out of the Turtles or someone? There was someone else who had a dude inside him. Was it Was it the bloke yeah. in the cartoon, the Turtles? Didn't he have like Yeah, a, there was some like, yeah. A creature yeah. inside a robot. Um, that, something. That's what yeah. it used to remind me of later. That I, I got that idea from it, but. That's funny, you know. You're talking about the bitty, 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 bitty voice. Get, yeah. Do you know who done that? Vo- who voiced that voice? Yeah, it was it was it was Mel Blanc. It was Mel Famous Blank. voice actor, yeah. Mel Blanc. Yeah. For those, yeah. those that don't know, you know, everyone should know. But those that don't know, he also voiced Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, which is weird because you yeah. remember. And look, he, 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 he voiced half of Looney Tunes. He, he done half really? of them, man. But you know, yeah, the main yeah, yeah. two that I, that I remember is that. It, Obviously, bugs Come and on, and fog on leg on. Fog on. <laughs> I said, what? I said. Yeah, and, and that's where the bitty 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 can come. Now you, say, yeah, now you say it, it's kind of yeah. like. Uh, it's all okay. there, isn't it? Yeah. And, and the, yeah. Uh, the, the connection I like as well is, is as Daffy Duck, he used to do Duck Dodgers and yeah. the you know, Duck Dodgers of the 25th oh, century. Oh, yeah, I used yeah. to love that, yes. that crossover yeah, yeah, sort of. So, he, so he's there. connected to both. Yeah, he's connected yeah. to both. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. But it was the. Yeah. Played by an actor called um, Felix Silla, was the actor who actually played him. And there's okay. there's hardly any roles where he was ever where he ever shows his face. He's always because of his size. I think he was it's always in a costume. Three foot nine, four foot. Yeah. So he's always in a costume. Yeah. So he yeah. he played um he he played one of the Ewoks in Return of the Jedi. Again, you know, couldn't see him, but he does appear. You can see his face in in an episode of Bonanza, where he plays uh, <laughs> he plays a little le- little leprechaun. 
Yeah. It's, the only, it's one of the only the only known bits of footage where you can actually see him, you know, in, okay. in, in the flesh and not in in a, in a costume. Because in a costume. I think to to get in the job as Tweaky was off the back of the black and white Adams family. Like we all used to watch that, you know, growing yeah. up in the eight, early eighties as well. You know, the big hairy or the little hairy character. Was oh cousin, yeah, cousin, cousin, cousin it, cousin it. Cousin it? Yeah. yeah, again that was that was him. That was that's where he oh, okay. got the job for Tweety off of being cousin it from the Adams family. Uh, okay. Bitty, 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 bitty. Hey, Buck. I was hairy before Buck. <laughs> <laughs> Buck Rogers. In but he was a good. He was one of them early robots. So he was. He's got. Early, you know, he wasn't. He, he, he wasn't aggressive. Didn't have a gun. Uh, he didn't. Uh. He didn't fly ships. I don't know. He just walked around. And yeah, he just walked around. Traps. Yeah, he, he didn't. He didn't save the day. He used to hang around with um, Arnold from different strokes sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, he had a weird shape head, but still that was it. A, yeah. That was it. That was it. But yeah, he had a weird okay. haircut. It's a weird looking, sort of, yeah, weird shape up, a weird shape haircut. Up, right, yeah, yeah. Tweety and Doctor Philopolis was it? Doctor Philopolis, yeah. We call him Doctor Philopolis. I'm sure that's what it, what I remember From being called. Buck Rogers the in the 25th century, century and his Jesus. clock around his neck. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's. Let's move over to the UK in the eighties, and you know, you know, we we're going to our get on. Our version of um, Cylons. Yeah, our version of Cylons, but it was before the Cylons. They're, these were the Cylons original were probably Cylons. In, in, inspired probably by these dudes. Yeah, they probably think the idea of you know, these and, 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 and these dudes had so many looks from the sixties <laughs> till now, but they always look freaky. They always it's freak me out. Worried. Whatever decade they're in, these dudes um, <laughs> were just mate. The Cybermen from Doctor Who, man. The Cybermen. <laughs> Cyberman. The Cyberman. Cyberman. The Cyberman. <laughs> the Cyberman. Man, man, Again, man. They're, they're actual costumes. The Cyberman. Looking at them, they were quite poor. But it's that, it's that helmet thing they're wearing, man. It's it's they had, it's, they had, it's like they had headphones, old school headphones stuck to their head yeah. with yeah. the receiver. Yeah. And that's how I remember them. And just like just looking freaky, man. You know to the me, old they're, school they're like, ones. They look like the, freakier. Like the first, the sixties yeah. ones look. Way worse. Yeah, than yeah, yeah. They're like the gimp masks of robots, isn't it? They're like the gimp. Yeah, robots, the like. gimp. They got that, yeah. that gimp look, like, and that's nah. Yeah, like, I this, don't want to mess with this, that man. That just zombie just gimp look. But what's their what's their origins? Where are they where are they from? What's their deal? Um, they first appeared in 1966 and originally created by Dr. Kip Pedler and, and Jerry Davis. And um, Pedler was the med was the actual medical researcher at London University, and he was the unofficial scientific advisor for the for the for the show and he come up with the idea of how how they're going to look um and and the basic okay. the first designs right, um, right, he, right. Also, he also wrote a f the first few stories going you know back in the early 60s when the show starts shows you mm. how old it is you know we weren't yeah. into it. i weren't into it in them nah, nah, nah. We, we've got the one doctor who for us and i'm sure you you're going to pick the same one as me yeah, if we had yeah. to pick who are Tom Baker, is? mate. It's Tom, Tom Baker, Baker mate. with his scarf and his long scarf coat and his, his hat. Afro. That's it. Yeah, man. You know, I never, I never really got into Doctor Who at all. You know, like, I, I, of, I didn't really get into. Remember, there was no spaceships or guns or big yeah. battles and that. But it, it was, was TV. Budget, BBC. Yeah. It was on it was, that. It was on in that children's. Time it was in that zone. Yeah, so, yeah. So if you're catching round, news round and Jack and Nori, you're bound to dip into sort of Doctor Who now and then. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But yeah, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna bump one into the Doctor. Out, weren't one of them things I went out out my way to watch, and I, I yeah. lost it after the. It was like a cricketing looking dude who, who come into it. He used to wear cricketing gums. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, when he come into it, I sort of you know, Tom Baker and the, was the one man. When do you remember when, the big thing was? Let's see him. Um, Change into another doctor, like this yeah. episode is coming up when he yeah. when he goes through like the that. transition of being yeah, a doctor. Like right? It's no, bad enough no, having to deal with different James Bonds, let alone having like, <laughs> different yeah. doctor every, every season. Years. A different yeah, doctor. Like, oh, no, not another. But, um, one. This one was on but, Blue Peter the other week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, the robots, the side, the side, the Cybermen, man. So. What were they on though in the pro? Were they just looking for Doctor Who, or did Doctor Who just bump into them every? Five I've, got, I've got a feeling again they were another. Um, they they would you know they had the Daleks at the time, so they wanted a better, mm. not a better, but they needed another character, so they got they got created for that. But I got a feeling they were another sort of like how the um, uh, Cylons were that they they wanted to create you know, wipe out everyone mm. apart from uh, um, um, you know. A, a, 
I, well, I think they could. I think they could convert humans into Cybermen if I remember. Right, like oh, a zombie really? tactic. Like please. a zombie, yeah. yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah. Them, they'd implant something in you, so you only took orders from them, and you had no emotions, no love, no anger. All of that would be you know, gone. <laughs> they would do something when, to you. When they do that, do they? The yeah, do they give you the gums as well? <laughs> 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 like, but I'll put do they this talk? On. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard them talk. Do they just look at you with their mouth open, that mouth open look, and like just hand you silver gums? <laughs> I just say, how does it work? How do you enjoy the Cylon? How do you be a Cylon? Is there female ones? What's going on with the Cylon people? No, like, Cybermen. Cybermen. Cybermen yeah. people, then. Cybermen. <laughs> Cybermen people, then. <laughs> I think they were, I'm sure it's the same sort of thing. They were created by another race of people who replaced them, replaced some of their body parts with robotic The si- Cylons just ripped off their whole backstory and said, Yeah, I reckon we're, so. We're going to give a red so. light in front of their eyes and, and, and call them Cylons. Just yeah, change it a little like... bit. But they got, they got the rest of the story. We're going to rip it off from that Doctor <laughs> Who, you, that UK Doctor Who program. Yeah, it, it, sounded, it sounded familiar, isn't it? Yeah, it sounded you know. familiar, isn't it? That's what I mean. <laughs> Similar, but, uh, but look a lot did, did, did they, I, I didn't see them come out of spaceships. They just would appear, wouldn't they? They would just appear. It was like walking towards you, innit? Like four or five. Yeah. Of them. Yeah. yeah it's like them, man. staggering towards you. Like, <laughs> I, weren't, I weren't a fan of them. I weren't a fan of them. But yeah. they did freak you out. They were freaky. They were, they were freaky silver dudes, man. Yeah. Freaky ass silver dudes, man. But <laughs> as well as as well as the um, Cybermen in Doctor Who, we had the guys yeah, that would. The original, the original you know, guys. Yeah. The guys that look like turned upside down um, screwball packaging. Remember them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like salt, salt and pepper screwball. shakers. Yeah. Mm. Salt and pepper shakers, upside down screwballs. Yeah. <laughs> Containers. It was the Dalek. That would make man. a good. That would make a good Dalek. An upside down screwball yeah. container. Yeah, really <laughs> because nice because because you got the dome bit and a little bubble and bit little coming bumps. out. Yeah. Bumps. Yeah. yeah, that's how I used to think of the screwballs, man. Yeah. I should have got Craig and painted a few. And yeah, painted a few. Of that's like, that's like, if, you, if you'd, you'd have painted the really inside, they would have looked wicked from mm. outside. Yeah. They were gonna come out bad. Tell you, mate. Tell you. You're gonna go and buy <laughs> some. They were another more. one. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm You're not gonna go and buy some and make some like flipping. I'll take a trip to Iceland tomorrow. <laughs> my Etsy or something. <laughs> <laughs> they were another one though that sort of freaked me out a bit when I was really young because they were, you know, they were about from the sixties, the Daleks, you know. So yeah. we saw them at an early age, and just the way they spoke, they only used to say exterminate. Mm. That's all they, they would were saying. just They yeah. were just weird, like I don't know, because the way they moved, and I didn't know yeah. what was in them. It's like, yeah. oh, I don't like these little things, man. They they freaked me out. And they I remember were... at the time as well, you, you might remember this, it used to go mm. to fairs and there'd be a full size one that you could sort of, it had the yeah. side cut out so you could sit in it and play some shit game. But just that yeah. that, that that cabinet used to freak me out as well. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a fucking yeah. Dalek, man. It's like exterminate, exterminate, exterminate. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's like, they were like, it was like moany old people. Yeah. They're like, they're like no ball games. Like no to... ball games around here. X time, yeah. night, X time, night. It's like it was just like it was just a freaky voice. But but I heard like that. But I heard it was the same voice as, as Zippy from Rainbow. Oh, that would. Oh, uh, you could hear it. Yeah, now that you say that, that would be wicked. That would be I, wicked if it I, is. I, I'm not sure if that's true, but that's that's what I did hear a long time ago. But to me, I can hear the Zippy. But yeah. I can also yeah. hear Jeffrey. like. Bang like punch, on. like you, punch you and punch and Judy yeah, as well. Yeah, That's yeah. no way to do it. X time and yeah. night. Oh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Yeah. So it's a, <laughs> they're all, all the voices are there. Like it could be just one person earning be bare bucks. Person. Punch be, and Judy, Zippy, and Dolly. It's that one man. It's one man doing all them voices. And all you have to say is exterminate. Yeah. Exterminate, that's the way to do it. Oh, Jeff, Rain, Bunko. That's all. It's just, <laughs> just say names and words. No sentences, no, hey. Yeah. That's a good gig, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good gig. <laughs> I was going to say. That's, 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 that's not a bad gig. But yeah, but I was saying, the Daleks, the, as, as scary as they were and annoying was, as they were with their voices, like, how fast were them things going? They were so oh, slow. Two mile an hour, weren't they, man? Again, they couldn't were... get upstairs. They were... Yeah. <laughs> Who were they going to exterminate? Like, did they have <laughs> rubber? No, but that's what the they have front missiles? Was, wasn't it? The bit of the front yeah. was to shoot, wasn't it? But it had to be bloody close to you, like exactly. You know, you were, did it? They have no you range. You could duck it. You, you could, could duck, duck it out the way you of could, it. You could spin you, around that thing. You could it's, snap it like how Kenny Everett used to do Terry Wogan's wand on on blankety blank. Yeah, <laughs> hit it, <laughs> snap that. Hit it over the head. That's what you hit doing? Stop <laughs> this, you darling! You look like an upside down screwball cover. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, yeah. they... do, you, do you remember their leader one though? He, he was like half the human top half with a, with yeah. a Dalek. Uh, I did, <laughs> now that's Davros. 
<laughs> he was freaky. He was yeah. like a grey looking thing. He was like, half like, garlic, he, half he was, yeah. like sub alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what he looked like. Definitely. Definitely like some emperor. He just looked like a down Wars and out alcoholic. He did. He had a few too many with the emperor and he just was coming to work late. <laughs> Fuck, like <laughs> just whizzing around in his circus. <laughs> Scooter. Scooter. <laughs> 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 I didn't uh, like was, him, man. He was so shit. Like he was always drunk like and looking right. Doctor Who had the robots, man. You know, back in the day, they had the robots. They were yeah. there with the original. Yeah. The original yeah. Because, because, because the UK had, had all their space dramas and that, and there wasn't a lot of robots. Um, and But... Out of all of the UK space dramas, it was the Dalek and the Cybermen mm. that stood out. But do you guys yeah, remember yeah. the? Do you guys remember the robot from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Uh, the, the, he's always he's always moany and sad. He's a big uh, robot. I can't remember. He looks like. It, I used to he, watch he was it. just he was just sad, and he just he was he was like a big silver robot. I need to have a look. He, he had emotional like. problems. Marvin the manically <laughs> depressed robot. Marvin the paranoid android. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was a sad robot. They always like moaning about things and had problems. He's got a proper sad face, isn't he? His eyes yeah, were like drooping yeah, down. He was a sad he robot. He's kind of ringing a bell now. <laughs> he was a sad, but he had like he would just moan throughout the program. You know, he didn't he didn't help. He didn't fire a gun or or hold the ship so they could get on it or hold off the bad guys. He would just. Mode, but See, he wasn't even there for like the comic relief then, and like most robots yeah, are in films. Lying. He was there for the for the manic depressive relief line to give. Yeah, us. yeah. <laughs> but but I, I, again, as a kid, I used to watch. I used to watch him, and yeah, you know, <laughs> everyone had to have a robot. It's Hiker's it? Guide to the Galaxy. That was, it was good. It was good. Talking about Doctor Who, while we're on it, you remember he had like a sidekick dog, a little robot dog. Is it K nine? Didn't they? Little hey, square, man. little looking thing. Reminded me of yeah. a, a bigger version of them things out of Star Wars. It used uh, to fly yeah, around yeah. the corridors. Yeah, but a bigger the, one with like a dog's head. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what he's, it was. I can't remember him doing much in it. He wasn't like a like a Hong Kong Fui psychic or, or, no, or solved any. No, he didn't any, save the day didn't again. No, didn't anything, have no. Did he have lasers coming out of his eyes when he thought he so, bite no. you? I can't, all I remember his ears had little still like satellite dishes, was it? His ears that used to twin, twist around. But I know he was a cute looking thing and I always wanted a toy version of it, but... He didn't really, harm you. He don't really he remember much you. what he'd done. I think he just looked he after the TARDIS, maybe. He kept it tidy. Doing what? Tidy? He didn't have... He, 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 no, he might have hoovered up. Legs or... He might have been a hoover. Maybe. He's like maybe, a, maybe, it's, maybe the box below... It's like a hoover thing. And hoover he up. went around sucking up all the mess in the... the big old place, maybe. that TARDIS, man. It took a lot of looking after. It it's true. Maybe that... The only thing I can think of what he was for. Security, like, guard dog. Security. Yeah. <laughs> well, I liked him. He was a wicked robot. He wasn't going to give you space rabies or nothing, do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> he was just a, a good canine. He ain't going to get space, best, space fleas or anything. <laughs> man's best mechanical space. friend. Canine. He was good. Good old canine. He was good. He was good. He, might, he probably chased away the Daleks. <laughs> because they, was, they were on wheels. He was faster than them. He so, he would up. make a detour. And they would follow him. Where's that? Whose dog is that? <laughs> Chase them and Doctor Who could run off in the TARDIS. Huh? He, he could whistle, like, you know, come by. <laughs> he could do all that and, like, round them up. Yeah, like, there you like go. Sheep dog. There you go. There you go. There was a purpose. <laughs> if, it, if there was an episode, that, dog. they should do an episode of that. They should do a sheep dog trial episode, yeah. <laughs> sheep dog, sheep dog, canine. No, it would be a Dalek dog, 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 Dalek dog on a oh, Sunday. Dalek after, dog after, after Sunday yeah. praise and, <laughs> and then, remember when that used yeah, to be yeah. on? It used to be on the Sunday, <laughs> innit? Sheep yeah. dog, sheep after, dog trials. It used yeah. to be a thing. After after space dog songs of praise. Yeah. yeah. And then canine yeah. sheep dog Dalek canine, dog sheep trials. Dog, Dalek dog. I can't believe sheep that Dalek dog trials. Yeah. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> don't you remember it? Sheep dog trials. Sheep yeah, dog trials. Yeah. There'd be like farmers that bring their. Yeah. It's not like BBC was it Two, on BBC two or something like that. After like Songs of Praise, it was a Sunday thing, man. Yeah. Before the darts would come on. Yeah. And yeah. And like, your, your farmer would bring on his sheepdog to show you how good it is at herding sheep into pens. Yeah. yeah there'd yeah. be a couple of I different ones, ones like, wouldn't it? There'd be time. Well, you got the time, man. Why are you sheep? watching that? <laughs> that was <amazing>. That was. <laughs> it's that was Sunday so after dinner. He's playing with Star Wars figures. It was literally like you know on a Sunday after dinner. 
like there's not much there's not much toy <laughs> playing going on it's like bath and then bed <laughs> I used to go to bed early I used to but see I, it as yeah, well I don't see it, don't see it no uh, more I was waiting for Hell and Pace, mate. You probably, probably waiting for him to get ready for his spitting <laughs> image. <laughs> yeah, it was earlier than that. No, it was earlier than that. It was, like than that. This was eight Maybe years. earlier than that. Six o'clock? Oh, sorry. It was rather them sort of ones. I don't remember that. <laughs> but let's go to Saturday night around the 80s. And Saturday night was when this show aired. I remember seeing it about, you know, the winter shows. It's that, <laughs> that, the time of year we're in now, this show would have come on on Saturday. Yeah, it would have done. Family fun coming entertainment. Up, coming up to Christmas. Come up to Christmas around five o'clock, between five and five thirty. Yeah. LWT would show you this robot. He was like a, a hench <laughs> mash robot. He went to the gym. He's the only mash robot that went to the gym Worked with his yeah. with his foil Jerry curl. He it's got to be It's got to be Metal Mickey, isn't it? It's got to be Metal Mickey. Didn't Metal he talk like a Cylon? Be... Did he talk like a Cylon? Did he? A happy one though. Is it? I, uh, I thought I you talked like, yeah, like a Cylon. Maybe he told like a happy yeah. Cylon. More of a happy metal Mickey Cylon. I Did he have like... an American accent too? No, nah, he gave an English one there. They're all, it was a whole English thing, wasn't it? Very English, I think. Yeah, yeah. But one of the guys behind it wasn't English. And and people might be surprised about who... One who of the producers. Who was working, one of the producers of that show, yeah. Yeah, which was um, one of the monkeys. One of the monkeys, man. Was and his Mi- name was? Mi- Mickey Doll- Dollins? Mickey Dollins. Mickey Dollins, yeah. Mickey, Mickey Dollins. But those guys remember Mickey Dollins for the monkeys. The guys, the guy on the drums. He was like the brown curly hair. Was he like the main? He wasn't the main dude, was he? They're all main. There was no Davy yeah. Jones was probably the main dude. Davy Jones the, in the main. I'm thinking of the main singer. That's but, what yeah. funny. But dude, Mickey, know. Mickey was the drummer and the more comedic one. And yeah, he was yeah. involved in um in the program Metal Mickey, man. Metal Mickey. Like Me- Metal Mickey. As I was saying at the top of his introduction, he was he was just entertainment. He was the, the wise cracking spinning yeah. on his wheels. Robot. <laughs> never saw him go upstairs, but there's no possibility of him doing that. I never saw him come no, out of their front room. No. He was, he was in, like, in someone's front room, wouldn't he? If you had like behind yeah. the curtain, they'd get him out. Yeah. Yeah. Him, like, get him out. That's the downfall of robots. Yeah. Stairs is the downfall well, right, of robots. Back then. Yeah. You got a set of stairs. Back then. <laughs> the things I've been seeing robots doing now. That's another podcast. That's the, but, uh, it's Metal true. Mickey, he was yeah. a hench smash real. robot, man. And it had that really Wise. nice old lady who played like the granny in it. it was Irene Handel, her name was in real life. She was she was yeah. in everything back in them days. If they needed a a typical, you know, yeah. maybe like a like, bit of a mouthy granny, you know, them sort of rent old, a ghost, yeah, super yeah. granny. She probably appeared in all them she programs. Played, yeah, she was yeah, wicked, yeah. man. Where's all gummage? She was in. She must be in all them joints. <laughs> I, remember, I remember Metal Mickey used to, used to call him a little fruit bat, which I used to like. He had little words for saying. Little, for all the family members. I can't, I can't even remember. I think it was the, the daddy he called Clever Clogs or Mr. Clever Clogs, but it, it was it was my little fruit bat that I used to find funny, calling the old yeah. the old bird. I can't remember. I can't remember his backstory though. Did they make him or was he from another planet? I don't know what his backstory was, man. I, know, I remember they used to give him sweets, and they were just to us they were normal bonbons, either yellow ones, blue ones, or red, or the pink ones, what you get now. Mm. But to him, they were mm. like higher. Astro drops or something, uh, thunder, atomic thunder busters or something they were called, which were his um, his, his, his food. But they were just lemon bonbons they were feeding him. Yeah, yeah. And and didn't he have a catchphrase? Yeah, a catchphrase? Boogie 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 boogie, That's something it. like that, wasn't it? Yeah. That's why I thought yeah. he had the robotic yeah. like, hey, bo- yes, bo- yes, bo- yes, I thought yeah. he had that sort of voice, mm. a bit mm. like a Cylon. But I think I think Darren was a right. Happy, there. A little bit friendlier happier. and happier. Yeah, yeah. it's a kid's yeah, show, man. It could be moody in a kid's show. It was a kid's show. So yeah, Metal Mickey, man. Yeah, it was. Yeah, family entertainment, man. Metal Mickey, yeah. I love Metal watching Metal Mickey. How long did that run for? Did you know? So it ran from um, I think September 1980 to like January 83. So yeah, what well, year and a bit? Um, but it was pulling in 12 million viewers mm. at its peak. Like you say, it was it was like peak time Saturday mm. kids entertainment, wasn't it? Mm. Like yeah, it was a good thing mm. to watch at the weekend. Mm. Mm. It was a good it, watch, like, man. It was a good watch. It, it must have like. Taken over from like Dick Turpin or something like you know in them times you had is either Wes- 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 Gummidge, Dick Turpin, <laughs> yeah. Wes- Gummidge and Dick- yeah it was that sort of time yeah, that it? kind of yeah. Robin the Hooded Man, yeah. he <laughs> had all these shows yeah. Terror Hawks it was, all, it was that zone <laughs> it was that of, zone of, of, of watching yeah you know, one of them that would come yeah. Yeah. late night yeah. for kids yeah. but yeah. early evening like early evening Saturday night entertainment metal with metal Mickey metal Mickey and, and he had he had a spin off his own record label because he produced some a couple of hits that got in the charts. <laughs> so they, 
Yeah, so they put out an actual like, well, metal yeah? Nicky record label. He, I think he had an album, <laughs> and a couple of the singles, you know, they got they got high up in the charts. I'm sure one yeah. was like Boogie Boogie was one, and there were some yeah, others nah. as well. But yeah, they end up producing it on. Metal Mickey had his own Met, record label. Had his own record label. Yeah. <laughs> Is, is that the link with the guy from the monkeys? Did he get involved it could in that? Be, fight? Isn't it? Yeah, it must be. It could I need be. to make some quick bucks here. <laughs> yeah, boogie woogie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey had his own record label. How about that? Eh? Go on, Mickey. So, um, yeah, that's that's our TV shows, man. Let's move on to a couple of movie ones, man. Um, and now, you know, it's it could be pretty obvious, you know that we could go and talk about all the Star Wars robots. But we, we ain't, we ain't going to do that. We could be here all day talking about Star Wars robots. That's a whole it's episode, on it? That's too easy. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do another podcast about Star Wars. So I was just going to go through a couple of other films that featured robots um, from back in the day. And um, this film, this this particular robot from this, from this particular film was like, because growing up, we saw like, um, you know, all the Sinbad movies and, and so Jason and Argonauts. Sword and Sound of movies and the, mm. and the, you know the Ray Harry Hansen movie. We saw them all on TV, but this is for us now. We got to go to the cinema and experience mm. it firsthand. And um, this film came out for us. This film came out in the eighties, and um, it was Clash of the Titans, man. Clash of the Titans. And I remember seeing. I remember. You remember back in the day, when you, lots of monsters. But yeah. Remember when you'd come out the mm. cinema and see the posters and like, mm. that, you know, now you can just go online and watch the trailer yeah. and catch up with the trailer. But back the then you had to actually the yeah. go into the cinema. You remember, the Chris, trailer. when we used to go into the cinema, right? Mm. Yeah. We used to go into the cinema to look at the posters. Yeah. Like, yeah, remember, so, like, what posters are out today? Yeah. yeah. Walk, your heads you know, up. you'd yeah. walk yeah. in the yeah. foyer yeah. and you'd look up above yeah, you coming soon it, coming wow You'd this is coming out half soon. a dozen posters yeah we'd go just to check that because that was our only way we did yeah. our yeah. internet to see what was coming yeah, out yeah there's, there's no we'd information look on the wall look on the wall in the cinema <laughs> look on the wall in the cinema literally we'd go all the way to the cinema just to see the posters of what film would be, uh, film could be coming out maybe get a hot dog while we're there or something yeah or some popcorn because <laughs> it looks as we said last week yeah, you've got to make it worthwhile. Well. Well. Make the journey worthwhile, isn't it? As we said last week, it's either Barry Norman or going to the cinema and looking at posters to get the latest information on yeah. movies. Yeah. yeah? And true. I remember seeing the... But they, 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 But they made the poster special for Clash of the Titans, but it was like one of them. You know them 3D cutout? You know, like a pop-up. But remember pop-up books were yeah. big in the 80s? Yeah, yeah. Mate, pop-up books. This was like yeah. a pop-up, hey, they were massive. like, 3D of the Kraken. And, yeah. the, you know, you'd in see that, the rocks. wow! Yeah, yeah, wow, this film Clash of the Titans. And when I went to see it in the cinema, it didn't disappoint. It didn't, it didn't disappoint. disappoint. Uh, but um, it's a big film. the character we're going to mention in this film, it's kind of weird because it's a Sword and Sandals film, you know, the you olden days where everybody had... You didn't get robots. You didn't get mechanical robots, or you don't get... Mechanical no. robots, yeah. yeah. Unless so, the gods made it and sent it down. From the future, yeah. Unless the gods <laughs> made it. And, and that's what did happen, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was... Um, again, I'm thinking it was like Zeus's... Mrs. had a, I can't think her name now, whatever her name was, Andromeda or something like that. She, yeah. she, and one of them had an owl and she was ordered to send it down to help Perseus on his quest for um, the Medusa, wasn't it? I think is what he yeah. was after. And yeah. um, and she, they didn't want to send the owl down. So they got their craftsman engineer to to build a mechanical to, to owl, build. which turned yeah. out to be Booba. The golden owl. Golden yeah. owl, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Head used to spin. Yeah, used to he, blink. Was a, he was a wicked character. He yeah. looked man. wicked. Love that he character, man. And he was a unlike, big character in the film. Yeah. And unlike the Buck Rogers robots and all the other robots we mentioned on the hero side, he he played a part in 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 yeah. in helping Perseus and his Pegasus on He's the like journey. He's like Bishop in Aliens from the last podcast. Yeah, He's one of them characters. Exactly. Like, he was yeah. essential. If he yeah. didn't he was essential. Pull two moves, two yeah. distraction moves. Yeah. It might not have worked. It it's true. Have, you know, yeah. did. Yeah. If he didn't grab Medusa's head from the bag that fallen and given it mm. back to Perseus and distracted, and he risked his life. Yeah, he flung around yeah. the crack. Yeah, he, he did. risked his he life. Did. Even though he's he a did. mechanical robot, he risked his life mm. <laughs> for Perseus. But no, it, no. So it, 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 <laughs> hey, he, he, like, remember when he nicked, said, he nicked the eye off the three the three witches? Witches. There's them three yeah. blind witches, and they all look through yeah. that eye, isn't it? He nicks that yeah. off of them as well to get. Like, yeah. You know, if he weren't there. Who knows what would have happened? He was a wicked character. Yeah, Again, it was the magic of Ray Harry Hansen's special effects that 
Whenever he was flying, it was mm. that style. But when yeah. he was perched, it was it was a mechanical it robot. It was mechanical, you know, that yeah. Was and that, and yeah. that, yeah, you know, it works wicked though. Yeah, yeah, those kind of effects. They, they, I they love, I love them effects, man. The mechanical robots in the days when everybody had boats and horses, and he's yeah. flying around mechanically. No, they must they... be thinking, <laughs> "Come on, God, man, sort us out of a plane." You know, <laughs> Just give me a plane <laughs> to ask that. Like, why are you giving me a flying horse when you can give me a plane? You've already got, given me a mechanical owl. Should you give me that bigger so I can fly on that? You know shield I mean? in the hat. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, an invisible shield. Like. A visible hat, is it? The helmet, the helmet, yeah. Invisibility in the shield. I don't know what the shield does, but it mirrored. A you sword. can mirror and, it. And it. Kind of, come on, man. Give me a, give me a pterodactyl, something. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? But no, I did like. Boop, 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 boop. Right, He's right. a wicked character. They tried to bring him back a bit in the remake as well, didn't they? They tried they? to yeah. diss him. Yeah, they, well, they did. They ended yeah, up dissing him by that. leaving him in the trunk, man. Yeah, leaving him in come there. Come on, you needed him for that movie. That movie was cat. Yeah, you needed was, him in yeah, that movie. Yeah. He would have saved your movie. <laughs> the little throwback wasn't good enough. You need, yeah. you needed that character. It's true. You're right. He would have that saved the movie. Weak movie. <laughs> so yeah, that was Bobo. That was Bobo. You know, number five. No, that was Bobo from <laughs> Bobo Massive <down>. Science. <laughs> but 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 I might say five, but our next character um, was from. Um, Short circuit, Johnny Five, and that's Johnny Five. Johnny mm. Five, Johnny, Johnny Five's alive. Yeah, I you didn't like Short Circuit. Fan, it just wasn't, wasn't, wasn't my movie. Nah. Like the robot thing had been done by then, and like yeah. ET had just finished, and they tried to combine the robot with ET mm. in my eyes. Yeah, mm. <laughs> it, no, you're right. Head. You're right. It wasn't even the look. I didn't mind the look yeah. of yeah. Johnny Five. You know the little truck track wheels, the way the yeah, eyebrows but, tilted. I but, like, but I liked movement. it. But the, it's just a movie, though, man. It let it down for I couldn't. But no, but, but his whole movement was ET like, like his head yeah. shape. I'm just, yeah, yeah, no, you know he, what I mean? yeah. It, how his neck would come up. It was yeah. just, yeah, yeah. I wasn't. It was yeah. similar. I, I wasn't. Hate, I wasn't yeah, feeling yeah. the film. I, I know. I know Mahoney was in it. Right? Right? Yeah. that didn't even work for me. No, that didn't. Even, you'd think. You'd think Steve that Gutenberg yeah. was in it, and he was my top actor. He was like yeah. Robert De Niro in the eighties for me. <laughs> 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 Remember Steve Gutenberg was in there. Like, I was watching it. Three Men, the Baby, Every Please. I stopped watching Please Academy when he left. Come no, on, no, man. that's it, man. Hey, Please Academy. Yeah. Hey, Please Academy. That's Steve Gutenberg. Like, he, even he could have saved the movie. <laughs> even he could have saved the film, man. Serious. Right, it weren't man. great. Short circuit. Wasn't great <laughs> for great. me. And, and did they make two, make a sequel? Only two movies was there. They made two. Yeah, they yeah. made two. Yeah, it weren't great. He, he was an he was he was an escape robot. I hear you. Again, he was made like for made for made for military escape use when he was military or something. Yeah, and he, he got hit by lightning yeah. or something. And yeah, malfunction. Circuit's malfunction. He's voiced by the same yeah. guy who voices the little pug dog in Men in Black One and Two. A guy called Tim Tim Blaney. Yeah, it's the same voice oh, actor who does the plot. Um, is it Frank? Isn't it Frank the pug, the dog in Men in Black? Oh yeah, Men in Black One and Two. Oh, okay, yeah, right. Nice, um, yeah, was it? What year did that come out? Was it 1984? Uh, 86, I think. 86. Six. Okay. So, Six, seven. Around 86. Yeah. I remember. I was a visual effects artist um, from Blade Runner and, and Tron to try and, you know, okay. bring it all to life and make it all look good. But it, was, it wasn't doing it for me, man. you got to remember, 9867, this is Predator time. Yeah. This effects are getting better now. Yeah. This is... This is better, not even effect, better films. Like better films, I'm watching yeah. 18 films. When I turn when I turn like 10, I'm watching 18 films. Yeah, it's true. You weren't interested <laughs> in, in a P, PG film. See, I weren't I weren't, I weren't I watching any of those films figures, at that time. I was time. watching Triple X yeah. horror films. Yeah, we were, we were well into <laughs> in them the by pirate then. zone. We were well into hey, them. Yeah, so something like short circuit, like because like when kids are watching short circuit, short circuit, we was watching Deadly Friend, mate. Deadly and Friend. Deadly Friend's about a robot that went was, along, wasn't it? I was like, yeah, that had a robot. It, it was like an android yeah. character, wasn't it? A it's cyborg, like an android. Yeah. Yeah, Cyborg. We should have yeah. put her in we last week. We should have forgot up all about that. We'll I need throw, to watch that we'll film throw, again. We'll throw her in in this episode. Chukrin. That's a Wes Craven film, isn't it? Wes Craven's Deadly Friend. <laughs> Deadly Guys, Friend, if you, you haven't seen that, it. Do you remember that horror film? Take a look at it. Take yeah, that's worth it. a watch again. I need to I need to watch that again. I forgot that had a that yeah. had a Cyborg character in it. That's one. That Deadly Friend is one of those movies that when people talk about horror... 
they Don't never talk about Deadly Fred. It's, it's never mentioned. on Sky Movies. It's never uh, on the Horror yeah, Channel. It's just it. one of them films. Oh, you know, okay. like Freddy's Revenge. You've never yeah. seen Nightmare on Elm Street That's 2 it. on uh, telly. Or not. It's just one of those films that just doesn't get... I've never seen that since. Yeah, it's one it's of those in that, that category. You just, they just that category, fall by the just, wayside. They, you they, they just disappear. From disappear. The, from the, you know, but I still want to tell you about Master of the Universe. I just don't get it. Films that should be thrown away are still in people's... Yeah, for reveals. Deadly like, friend's definitely <laughs> worth a watch. Deadly friend, yeah, deadly one. friend, mate. It was a it was a messed up horror film. It had the woman from the Goonies in it, the bad yeah. mum in the Goonies. Um, it was just oh yeah. yeah, deadly friend. Check it out. Check it out, guys. If you if you remember it, watch it again. We had a chilling ending. One of them yeah. ch- 80s horror films had chilly <laughs> ending. Anyway, we're talking about robots. Let's get out of this. Yeah. So deadly yes. friend. Yes. She was a cyborg. There was a horror movie, and yeah, that's another robot we're just gonna throw into this podcast. Another thing about Johnny Five, going back to, I don't know if you remember, the soundtrack was by The Barge. The Barge done some okay. good tunes, but this is The Barge going solo. He, he's now called El The Barge, and this was his yeah, first yeah. solo song. Was Who's Johnny? Was the um was, oh. was, was, was the single? What do you mean from... he done the whole soundtrack for the yeah, whole? Yeah, yeah, on on the Gordy label, which was what was that a Motown label? Very Gordy's label. So, yeah. yeah, he's on the Gordy yeah, label. And, and he, he, you know, this was his, his first go at being solo from from being in the family group, the Barge. He yeah, went the to barge, being yeah. Elder Barge. I never, I, I never knew mm. he'd done this out the whole time. I, f- I, f- I don't think he was about long after this. But I don't remember seeing. Yeah, I've never, I've never yeah. heard of that. I've... It's the only. It, it got to number one. It's the only so, solo number one single we had is, uh, from going solo after he left the left the group back in eighty six. Never... Yeah. What was the name of the tune? Uh, who's Johnny? Who's Johnny? Who's, who's Johnny? Johnny? <laughs> who's jo- <laughs> I never, I never knew Elder Barge. I didn't even know he went solo. Mate. I didn't even know. Yeah, I did. anyway, I didn't like the movie, so I wouldn't have known anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah that's that's Johnny Five, and with a little bit of Deadly Friend Deadly nipped friend. in there yeah, as well. In there. Bit of horror, horror. So a bit of that. Um, <laughs> Moving on to another movie now. Again, we're going to say this again. Um, you know, sci-fi was big at this time and Disney wanted a piece of the pie. Um, but now they've got the whole cake. But back then, <laughs> they only had a slice. Um, they after a the slice. success. They had a crumb yeah, with this one. They had a crumb with this one. And then they got greedy and now they, now they the own the shop. The whole, the whole <laughs> cake shop. They got the whole cake yeah, shop. Yeah, innit? <laughs> Yeah, like, and all, they and all the they, ingredients. Yeah, they got the secret recipe. They, <laughs> uh, they're churning them out, man. <laughs> and these the robots, these robots must be, <laughs> these robots must be collecting dust in an old Disney broom cupboard or something. They must be worth some money though. If they got if, they, if they're about. Yeah, if they got the life size ones, and that is the robots from the film The Black Hole. The Disney's Black Hole. Now this film was weak. Um, it, it I think had, we've mentioned it in past it was, podcasts. Yeah. Um, with the with the big sun boulder going across the bridge and and their silly old guns that look like <laughs> staplers, <laughs> like staplers, <laughs> staples. Uh, <laughs> you know, or, or if you just do that sign of the beast sign, it, it could be your gun. It could be your playground. Gun, yeah, yeah, like you're in the yeah. or something. But um, <laughs> yeah. but the robots, the robots kept me watching. What was the fate of? Of the robots, of the, in, what happened to the robots? Because there was like in, a, it was like a one hole. you felt sorry for, wasn't there? There was these two, yeah, two small little dustbin-looking droids that were on the goody side, and then yeah. you had a, an evil-looking one. But the two, the yeah. two, the two goody ones, you had the one that was all, I think he had some weapons on him, but there was one that was all mashed up. He had a bent up eye, bent up yeah. arm, all dented up. But you felt sorry for a minute. So that was like. Yeah. That drew you into. What well, are called? The Vin- Vincent and Bob, right? Vincent and Bob. Yeah, Bob was a biosanitation part of the biosanitation battalion. That's where the name Bob comes from. So he, he yeah. must have been a cleaning droid on on. Yeah, on, he was the old one, right? He was the yeah. old bashed up one. Yeah. Yeah. And you had um, um, Vincent was the was the the one that seemed to do all the work and the, the younger the one younger one. But he was the vital information necessary centralized is what Vincent stand. <laughs> He's they were like to, to me. They were like the they were like the space version of Steptoe and Son. They yes, were like yeah. the young one and the old one. You young dirty one old oldie, robots. Dirty. You dirty old yeah. robots. And he was dirty old. He was a literally well, a dirty old robot. He was. Vincent, Vincent, <laughs> Vincent. <laughs> Clean my circuits, Vincent. You dirty old robot. <laughs> they were just yeah, they just were like floating the around. <laughs> they were like floating around each other, looking like. Wordy from word and words and pictures. That's what they remind me of. Wordy from word and pictures. 
Um, with a, <laughs> with a step toe and some <laughs> to them. Um, I don't know if they had lasers. I'm um, sure. What, I'm, I'm sure. I think Vincent had some sort of weapon on him, but yeah. But yeah, they were, they were. I, I just kept watching it for them. Like they were very slow, even though they hovered. They were slow at hovering. They were slow at everything. Was, yeah, they were just just moaning and. Rusty. No. Nothing was quick back in the day. Zombies weren't quick. Yeah, the robots door, weren't quick. Jason the, the Voorhees door, weren't quick. The doors in Star Wars were super quick. They were quick. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, uh, listen, if you, if, you stepped, if you stepped out by a mi- millimeter, you, 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 your, your fingernail would be chopped quick. <laughs> like, those Star Wars doors were incredible. <laughs> Guys, please watch the old trilogy Star Wars back and watch how quick these doors <laughs> slammed. When you press a button, <laughs> it's like a light switch. Does, is that dangerous? <laughs> They're too quick. Aren't those doors dangerous? <laughs> the health and safety will be on top of them these but, days. Like, yeah, Slow them down. Mate, the speed of oh those doors. <laughs> if, you, if, you watch, if you watch Mando, though, you see how he uses the doors. He does some killings for them doors, doesn't he? There's a few, that he does. few killings he does. He does so using, like, they pulling come in handy to them. kill people, yeah. literally. I like yeah. them ones, yeah. man. Yeah. I like them ones. <laughs> Do you remember a scene so, in Star Wars as well where it looks like Darth Vader's <laughs> lightsaber gets chopped off by the door closing? His lightsaber, no. like, go, I'm sure it's a, 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 it's a, it's a oh, glitch in the edit. Is it? But they've is left it in, it in Empire there. Strikes Back. It might be in Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, there's a bit and the door, the door closes, but you still see like a tip of a lightsaber. <laughs> <Right>. like... <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I, I think I've seen that. Guys, yeah. if you've seen that, let us know. Let us know. Uh. So, yeah, the black <laughs> hole. Yeah, Bob and Vincent slowly floating around. One looking dusty, one rusty and old, and one being a bit more youthful and robot in his looking. sparkiness. <laughs> like that sparkiness robot. But um, there was a bad guy in it. And the, the bad guy, I think I saw the bad guy before I saw the movie. Yeah, yeah. He was Again, like it's, the, it's one of those things where we went to, to look at posters and we saw mm. uh, we saw a screenshot of this thing. Of yeah. this, a screenshot, a photo mm. of this thing. That It was it was maroon. Maroon. It, it was the colour. I think the colour drew color me of the to 80s. it. It, it drew it, me it, to it. Because robots were metal looking. Robots were metallic. It was the colour of the 80s. Yeah, this was, this, this, this was CNA style <laughs> robot. Yeah, yeah. Do you drab, know what I mean? Drab purple. <laughs> Mate, Maximilian. Maximilian. And he had, he had like spinning blades, Max. didn't he, his hands, which is another you thing. Know what? That... When I first saw him, I thought it was, you know, like, you know, like when you just get a whisk. Yeah. Like a whisker when you're little. <laughs> I used to think his hands were whisks. Yeah. <laughs> <They're> whisk. <laughs> Because I'm, as a kid, I'm not thinking about blades. Nah. So, that's what, that's what I was about to say. It's it a strange thing to have for a kid. It's from. like, had, I said, what? He must be a cook. He must be a chef yeah. robot. He just he, put his he, hands in a pot. He's going to make you a, a cake. He's going to make you an espresso or a, a latte yeah. and a, and a he's, uh, scrambled egg. Uh, oh, yeah, I thought he had whisks on his... But, you know, realised there was a bit when he... I think he killed his owner. Yeah, he does, I think. I think, he, I think he's off. got his blades out, and yeah. that's when like, oh, they're blades. Mm. Which I thought, that's this is a bit odd for, like, this is aimed at our age, or, you know, that age mm. kids we were at the time, and I thought, this is a bit, like, yeah, you wouldn't yeah. normally have this, like, you know, yeah. spinning round blades on his arms, like. It's, but the film the strange. film had no depth to it. It was just, nah. it just went in the black, literally, it's just a, in yeah. the black, literally in the black hole, it just went, it just, it just, <laughs> just went, it just <laughs> went nowhere, didn't it? It just... I don't understand it. I don't understand the movie. I know, it was I, written I by that, someone English. It was like watching Blake that, 7. I know there were there were scientists in it and they were looking for the black hole. Yeah. But yeah. and Maximin, they all they all lived in the same spaceship. They're all uh, mates. Yeah. That's what it that's but, what it seemed like. And, and they just turned on each other. I, I, mate, the black hole wasn't a good movie. I, is it on Disney Channel? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely be there. I'm sure it'll be there, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one, one of their movie. early ones, man. It's it's a it's a weak Disney film, but it's, it's worth checking week. out them but, three robots. But for the robots, guys, if you don't remember the robots, check them out because they were they they were they were greatly designed robots. You know, entertaining, but the film was whack. Yeah. Um, now for weak. for our last robot of this podcast, it's one of my favorite. And this, and, and, and this yeah, this this robot appeared for like I don't know five minutes in the whole film. Um, but you remember it because before you saw any action, before you saw any boxing, you saw this robot. You thought, "Where's this film going with this?" Uh, um, this and it was, yeah. yeah, and it was, it was Paulie's present from Rocky Balboa. Rocky in Four. Rocky <laughs> Four. Right, and and Hello, but, happy birthday, Paulie! It's that <laughs> robot. It's 
Happy it's, birthday, Polly. That's all I know it for. Happy birthday, Polly. Boom, 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 boom. Had some weird yeah, had music. Some weird it had a party music, hat. Yeah. It just didn't go with the whole film. It's like, hold on, what? It had a tray or something. <laughs> what are we watching now? Just, like, this is going to get weird. Yeah, it was just a, it was just a weird scene. It was a That's weird crazy. scene. It was a um, weird scene. But there is a reason for having that robot, isn't there, Chris? Yeah, there's a reason for it. And there's also, there's a lot of footage I've heard that's been cut that was also in the film where they actually do build a relationship with Paulie and, and the robot. Because when you first see the robot, he's got the very robotic, muscular voice, doesn't he? Like, sort of silent. Yeah. But then but then Paulie sort of upgrades <laughs> his voice and changes the whole robot's sort of persona and makes it like a sexy female sounding yeah. robot. A bit like how, how Lando was with that robot in Solo. Yeah, yeah. But even more so, I think, you know. That, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, there was a weird thing. But I, I, I remember re- reading somewhere that there was extra scenes. I don't know how far these scenes went, but they're on the cutting room floor. <laughs> but there, there, is a, there is a director's cut coming out very shortly, I think, uh, maybe yeah. early next year. And there is talk yeah. that it might have these full <laughs> scenes of... Whatever goes on with Happy Birthday Polly Robot and um, yeah, Polly, which, which yeah. is but the, the the thing behind it again, it was um, it's a real robot. The robot is, is is made by a guy. It's controlled and voiced by Robert Dork, Dornick. Um, he's the founder of US US company International Robotics, and they actually built this robot as a, a, a like a classroom teaching aid for autistic children. And he was mm. he was on a chat show in America showing the audience and the viewers. This, this robot, how it how it interacts with children, and because it's a robot, children find it easier to deal with than than than, than an adult. And mm. at the time, Stallone was watching it, and his I think it, I don't know if it's his eldest son, but one of them, um, Sergio, I think Sergio, he's mm. he's got autism, so he he wanted to try it out, and he contacted this doctor and said, you know, well, I want to want to try this robot out and mm. see what it was like, but it, it did get on very well with. with with his son apparently and his other son was it Sage his other son he got yeah. to appear in Rocky as, yeah. as his son as his so, son yeah so as a sort of tribute to his son that couldn't appear in the film he thought we'd use the robot in some way oh, okay. we'd try and get the robot in the film that's mm. sort of how it how it's got in but the mm. robot's famous wow. it's in it's it's had few acting jobs it's um it was in the <laughs> t- TV show Days of Our Lives it's it's entertained Ronald Reagan at the White House <laughs> back in the 80s it's been on tour with James Brown and it shared a very intimate... On tour with James Brown. Tour with James Brown, what? man. Yeah, that's, that's good enough on its own. Yeah. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> Get on the good foot. I'm like a sex machine. <laughs> <laughs> when James Brown was on his knees, he went up to it again. Get up. Get on up. <laughs> Get up, fun. Get on up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I could have been, that, you know. there's got to be footage <laughs> out there of that crazy. there's got to be a video out <laughs> somewhere of that it also rep- appeared in Carly Simon's music video as her boyfriend I think which is another <laughs> oh another weird thing but it's, it's real name is um, Seiko I think it's real name is S-I-C-O, S-I-C-O. real name it's, it's real, real name real name it's a robot that's it's actual name Seiko and you can buy them now they're a quarter of a million pound plus delivery wow. to the UK but you can buy they them now. They were made in the 80s and they're still, they're charging, them them. They're still charging them now. Yeah, that's that what big I, that's old what head. That big old alien head. eyeballs. It's been in some cartoons, hasn't yeah. it? Have you seen it? I'm sure it's been in like Simpsons or Family Guy or something. One of yeah, them. I've seen it. I've seen it keeps it popping up in that. one of them, doesn't yeah. it? All the time. Wow, the robot in Rocky Four. I know you guys remember that robot in Rocky Four. I know that wasn't the highlight of the film, but that just freaks people yeah. out. <laughs> that was nuts. That was nuts. So, so that that wraps up another robot episode, man. The <laughs> we got robots, more to go. We got more the, to go. The, the TV robots and some of the movie robots. We got more to go. You know, we've gone through the cyborgs. We've gone through some TV robots, some movie robots, but we got more robots. We have got cartoon robots. So, be expecting some. Start thinking now what robots we might be thinking we might be talking about in the cartoon ones, and also yeah. toy robots. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So, another yeah. episode done. Thanks for listening again, guys. I'm Mr. Lucas. I'm Chris. And I'm Stax. Thank you, guys. Thanks for listening. Until it's next pleasure. time. Until next time. Take peace. care. Peace. 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 Peace, everybody. Goodbye. The podcast <laughs> is finished now. <laughs> we'll see you next time. You can go back to your normal lives. <laughs> <laughs>
those were th th those were the days the, 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 the days I remember. Wicked every time.